it's juicy. <laughs> you can't show that. I'm totally showing that. That's too bad. Full day of eating. What's up guys? Happy Easter, happy April. Today is just going to be a, uh, I wouldn't say a lazy day, but it's just going to be a day spent at home. So I'm gonna do a full day of eating for you guys because I've already trained, I have yet to eat. And so I figured it's a great day to do a full day of eating. I know for me, the Easter candy was everywhere at work this week and I fell victim to it and I'm annoyed with myself that I did that because I feel like I keep saying I keep screwing up. But here's the thing, I like to give myself credit too so I'm really, I'm really good about this. I don't just beat myself up. I make sure I give, give myself a little credit and I move on from that shit. Even though I did eat chocolate like three out of my five work days, I never took the, well F this mentality. I'm gonna just have whatever I want to eat the rest of the day. I'm gonna not work out. I'm gonna beat myself up. I really didn't do that. I just kind of ate the chocolate and went about my business and then repeated that for a couple more days. But by Friday, I felt like my body ached. Like I literally could feel the sugar overload in my body. I just don't feel good when I eat that way. So it's not to say you can't have things in moderation. Please do. I was not eating in moderation. Hence why my body was feeling it. I felt gross. It wasn't even about like my weight. My weight didn't really honestly change. It's more about that internal feeling that I've talked about to you guys before. So I've stocked up on veggies, on healthy foods, and that's what I've been doing the past couple days. And already I feel tons of better. So if you are watching this video going, oh crap, I ate all the Easter candy this weekend. I'm so mad at myself. Just move on from it, you guys. Grab yourself some healthy groceries and just move on with your day and feel yourself differently. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to eat some good food. We stopped at Walmart on our way home and bought a new fruit that I've never tried. A ruby tango. I don't know if it's just like a normal mandarin. A tangy citrus berry blast. I really like the sound of that berry blast. I love having citrus fruit post workout. I love getting that vitamin C in. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and when you work out, when you lift weights, you are causing stress to your body. You are causing oxidative stress. So it's always great to have a source of vitamin C post-workout. So I love having fruit post-workout. Just so many great benefits to vitamin C. So we're gonna start with that and then we're just gonna like nibble all day long and I'm just gonna film it all for you. Feels like a clementine. Ooh, it's juicy. <laughs> you can't show that. I'm totally showing that. That's too bad. I'm gonna get so much hate. The dude that likes your feet's gonna comment. He'll like that. Nice toes. Oh, no. It's different. It's definitely tangerine with like a super juicy, a little taste of berry, but it's like dripping. Dripping in juice. I like it. It's not mega sweet though. It's a little more tangy. Tangerines are a little more, they got a little more tang to them. That purple stuff. Sunny D? Yeah! yeah. Sunny D! Hey, we got OJ. Some purple stuff. Sunny Delight. I'll try Sunny Delight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Should I film my whole day of eating like. like this? Eating in front of the camera. It'll be like a three hour video. I took so long to eat. Sweetie. Bruce is always so tired after the gym. He went to the gym with us today. So when he's at the gym, he's on command guarding for Jason and I. Jason and I didn't do the same workout. So it was like, I was on one side of the gym, Jason was on the other. And the dog just had to like keep Keep in lookout for both of us while staying on command. It's mentally taxing for him to do that. And then when we get home, this is this is the dog we have. Actually, he ate like two pounds of food. He ate about three. And now he's drooling on himself while he sleeps with his teddy bear. I mean, does it get any cuter than this? I know I'm not being biased here. This is just the cutest. So we just filmed for Tiger Fitness. What up? My vegan brownie bowl that I've showed in like 9,000 vlogs, but everyone continues to ask me how to make it. So I'm just doing a separate recipe video so that people can better find it. But this is gonna be my next, well, I had half a citrus, folks. So I'm gonna eat this, and the reality is I'm probably then gonna make another giant meal after that, if you want me to be honest with you. Cause it's getting late, so I don't try to intermittent fast, so that's not something I'm doing right now. But on the weekend, it just happens 
when I sleep in a little bit more and you know, <laughs> Sundays this always happens to me. I end up eating a lot more food in a smaller period of time, which I'm not mad about. I, I don't mind that at all. So it's just how it works for me on the weekend. Weekends are good days if you're trying to cook. They Weekends? really are because you sleep in. Yes. So it's like, okay, you can eat less food and it doesn't feel like you're eating less food. Absolutely, you get that extra sleep, you feel more rested. I know I feel less stressed on the weekend, so just everything's easier on the weekend as I've said before. Love it. So we don't eat that. My whipped cream is disappearing, which makes me sad. There it is. Why don't you put this here and give them a taste test? You need that per item though. Let's just show you guys. You're gonna watch me eat every, every item today. Mmm. Like, she's not joking, she legit eats that like every day. Every day. Mm-hmm. And funny, when we became partners in Pervitum, I'm like, try a brownie bowl with that. Cause she was always on her MTS brownie bowl. She's mm -hmm. like, eh, probably won't be it's good. And <laughs> True She's story. like, oh my god, this is so good. Because I used to always use triple chocolate biscuit. It's because it's plant-based. You get like that thicker. You get the, the yeah, there's brown rice protein in it, which just makes a little bit thicker, denser, And more. it doesn't dry out as much. And now the MTS right. brownie bowls are really good, like very good. But mm -hmm. they still, I can't, I need those. they come out drier because it's whey protein. There's nothing you can do about it. Mm. So for baking, even if you're not vegan, grab that. You guys are in the Syracuse area. Come on over. I'll make you a per vitam brownie bowl. You will be a believer. And you can pet Bruce. Mm-hmm. He'll bark at you though. He will. Special sprouts, cherry tomatoes, little garlic, a little bit of coconut oil and cooking that in. And then I've got turkey burger I just threw on. I'm gonna cook that and I think I'm just gonna throw it all in a big salad. Sipping on. I don't really do a lot of this even though I love this kind of stuff, but I had Jason grab me one of these today. Just a strawberry lemonade, water flavor, no sugar in it. So I just kind of diluting my water a little bit with that just for a little something tasty today. And Jason made me put on his giant Volcom hoodie so that I don't wear my grandma sweater. But the grandma sweater is gonna make an appearance. It's cold here like 30 out today so it's still really cold for being April. Sunday vibes definitely going on over here. You guys can check out the video I did yesterday reviewing the Buff Bunny um, collection if you check that out. <music> really appreciate it even if you know you're not interested in buying anything I don't it's totally up to you guys, but um, Jason and I spent a lot of time on that video. Spent so much time trying to like get ready and look pretty for camera that today I'm just not into putting in that much effort. So that's why you're just getting a basic, basic biatch today. Um, to go back to my last meal, which was my breakfast of my brownie, that isn't something I would like normally eat post-workout. I just ate that because of the filming. Normally I like to save that brownie bowl for at night time when I'm just craving something sweet. But either way, I love having that in my mix of foods because it really does help me with my sweet cravings. So regardless if I'm trying to like get back on the healthy bandwagon, you know, eating foods that make you feel good, I will always be someone that needs to have something sweet on a daily basis. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I require things that are sweet. So for me, that's an awesome staple to have in my diet so that I can eat something that tastes like a brownie and actually pretty healthy. Anyways, my next meal, a little bit more nutritious and wholesome. So I've got a whole smorgasbord here. I ate this yesterday and it was a super good combo. I've got avocado. You guys saw me sear up some butternut squash, tomato, and Brussels sprouts. And then I've got a big, big, a big bed of arugula with some turkey burger that I just cooked up. And I'm not obsessed with this dressing. This almond butter turmeric salad dressing from Trader Joe's. It does have like a lot of good stuff in it. The ingredients are all stuff that you know, but the flavor isn't crazy great. I actually did just make my own homemade turmeric salad dressing the other weekend. Tasted a lot better than this, but I don't have it. So I'm going to just drizzle some of that on top. That should definitely take me a little bit to eat and that'll be my next meal. And if you're looking for ideas, I keep things simple with kind of 
trying to reincorporate foods that make me feel good. I always crave lots of fruits and veggies. And for me, having the air fryer is awesome because I like to just throw them in there, air fry them up. Or with these guys, I just threw it on the stovetop, seared it up real quick. Didn't take a lot of effort on my part, but I do buy stuff pre-cut too, so that makes it a little bit easier. So excited for UFC next weekend. My girl's gonna win it. You wanna? You wanna? Who's everybody wanna win? Let me know if you're gonna watch UFC next weekend and who you want to win. But I want Joanna. Yo Johanna, Yoana to win her belt back. I'm eating my next meal and I am living the sloth life this weekend and it feels very nice. I don't do this a lot on the weekend, but I had a really good workout this morning, so it's not like I didn't do anything. But sometimes you just need to like chill out on the couch. After and... yesterday's 13 hour for a video day. Yeah. Legit, I put in 13 hours. I feel cool like it chill. was like we both like worked. Like fun work, but like worked all day yesterday. Like our weekends are still kind of work. I went to bed um, one. Yeah, he, I was asleep. So I'm gonna eat again, and I'm having kind of maybe a weird combination, but my favorite thing ever, like, is fish toast. <laughs> and I know that sounds nasty, but I've got a slice of Ezekiel bread with whipped cream cheese, and then from Trader Joe's, I get the wild smoked sockeye salmon that I put on top with a little black pepper. And then I had a uh, half of a Bartlett pear left, so I'm gonna snack on those right now. So I was trying to foam roll, and we're watching a YouTube video on TV, and apparently the dog was not happy about me foam rolling. So this is the current situation. But foam rolling is not going so good. I did manage to get some foam rolling in. I used the ball too to roll as well. I did back Saturday and then legs this morning. And I did stepper both days as well for my cardio. So my body is just feeling like very tight, very inflamed. And I just haven't, I was a little lazy this past week, like in general, but like not taking as much time to stretch. I did not do any yoga. It's been a few weeks since I've done yoga now. Jason and I haven't been getting massages. We haven't been doing all those things that, you know, we, more, we normally do that help kind of keep our body and our minds feeling good. So felt good to stretch. I'm gonna try to be better about that this week. Maybe get us both a massage if we can. It's 7.30 now. I'm not really hungry. I think a lot of my lack of hunger today has to do with taking a pre-workout before I lift it today. Not not mad about it, but just the reality. It helps sometimes if you, uh, help sometimes with appetite control. Those pre-workouts, the caffeine will do that to you. But I want to take sleep aid tonight and I wanna go to bed really early because I am getting up really early. I've got uh, training at work this week, so I still want to get my training done before work, but I have to be to work hour-ish before my normal time, which means I have to get up earlier, like 4.30, 4.45. Well, I would rather just do the X and get it done in the morning because I will not want to train after work. So anyways, my point is I'm going to fix my last meal right now, that way I can eat. I've already stretched. Normally I would save stretching to last and I think that's when I get lazy because I'm like, oh, it's too late now. I'll just stretch tomorrow and then I don't. So I stretch first, I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna try to wind down and get ready for bed nice and early so that I can hopefully get a full eight hours of sleep and start my work week off with a good, you know, feeling rested mentally and physically. That'll be important for me to continue to have a healthy week, so. I'm literally going to have eaten every gassy food known to man. But I'm gonna try out this Trader Joe's rice cauliflower stir fry. There's the macros if you're interested. And I'm also gonna cook up some broccoli. And I'm gonna kind of mix in with it, and I think I'm gonna add the chicken in there too, and just do a big stir fry bowl. I think I've got fresh ginger too. Add a little extra ginger in there. You guys always want air fryer recipes, and that's kind of the beauty of the air fryer is there's no real like recipe required. At least I don't. I have a recipe book. I don't use it. I just take stuff, I throw it in here, and I forget about it till it's done. So I'm gonna try the broccoli in here, which I've never done before. That I just threw in a bunch of broccoli. I did spray it with a little pan spray. You shed it. I've got it set at what, 375? I'm just gonna put it in there for like 10 minutes. That's it, guys. All right, guys, there's the final product. I ended up doing two servings of the cauliflower rice with some chicken 
and the broccoli did not turn out good. I don't know if I just cooked it too long or if broccoli just doesn't do well in the air fryer. Maybe that's something you do need to add oil to. I don't know, but this doesn't look good at all. So those are going in the garbage, unfortunately. Highly recommend that Trader Joe's cauliflower stir fry. It's very good. It's got peas in it and corn and all the good stuff. So very tasty. And there's like a light soy sauce ginger taste to it, but not like overwhelmingly like they added too much dressing and junk. So I'm finishing that up and then I've already decided after that I'm going to finish off my meals for the day, my food for the day, and have one of my favorite yogurts. You guys probably already know. Get that baby at Walmart for 86 cents. Can't beat that deal. Friggin' love these Greek yogurts. Toasted marshmallow. These always come in handy like for hitting my protein macros at the end of the night. Eight carbs, 12 protein, zero fat. So it's always like a good little addition because I feel like I'm always like 10 grams away from my protein goal. So this always gets me there. And then I'm also going to add to it. Oh, that's yummy. There, don't mind the goober on the outside of my... This is, al this is almond butter, in case you can't read. Um, from all these, I'm going to add a tablespoon of almond butter to Greek yogurt. If you've never tried that, that's a tasty little combo. And that is going to finish off my macros for the evening. So I hope you guys enjoyed this day of eating. I know I didn't have a lot going on today other than really just showing you my food. But I had an awesome day just like relaxing and laying around and just kind of de-stressing. And I really needed that. So... I hope you guys were able to get in some relaxation as well this Easter weekend. I hope to do a vlog for you, a workday vlog this week, so be on the lookout for that. As always, check to make sure you are subscribed. If you're not, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know when I upload because sometimes I'm a little random with when I upload. And make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this. I will see you guys in the next one.